when dinner time rolls around and you don't want to hit the drive-thru, it's nice to have a recipe on hand that will get from table to tummy fast. This make-ahead tomato basil sauce is a lifesaver when you're running short on time but still want to feed your family some real good food. Marguerite Henderson is joining me with the recipe. It's so great to see you. I know. It's so, so good to be back. Okay, does homemade sauce really save you a lot of money? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is this is my secret. So I buy, this is called a number 10 can. Okay. Um, in, the, in the industry, they call these the size one. 110. Uh -huh. It's 105 ounces. Uh -huh. Okay, and you're thinking, uh -huh. what am I going to do with that much tomatoes? A lot sauce? of tomatoes. Right. $3.99 at Costco. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> when you make the sauce, it takes you maybe 20 minutes to prep it all, and onions, garlic, a little olive oil, put the tomatoes in. You're juicing up that sauce. Yeah. So you get two quarts. Two quarts? quarts right. For $3.99, essentially, plus a few extra right. ingredients. Right. Let's say $5. Okay. Okay. You take it, you do it on Sunday afternoon, you know, when you've got a couple of hours. Yeah. Let it cool, put it in your Ziploc quart size bags. Mm -hmm. And then flatten it out and put it in your freezer. Freeze it. So when it's time for dinner on a Wednesday, you're like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to eat. Uh -huh. You take out one of those bags, put it in warm water, cool it, I mean, warm it up. Yeah. And then you put it in a pan. So this is all food from that one sauce, okay? Yes. So this pan has... To answer the question, yes, Brooke. Yes, it saves yes. you money. So what's in the sauce again? Onions? Okay, so onions, garlic, olive oil, a little bit of basil. And you um, added that to the tomato yeah, sauce. Okay. Because it's just plain tomato sauce. Yeah. And then a little Italian seasoning. Okay. Okay, so now I have like a half a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to peel and devein yourself so you could buy it like this so you can let that cook through okay it takes about two minutes and then you while this is cooking you're cooking up your pasta whatever you want pasta. if you want to make spaghetti linguine rigatoni mm -hmm. what's whatever. your favorite pasta marguerite well with this i like um spaghetti okay. okay so then this one i have to explain that one that is a bolognese sauce made from this sauce okay which is just ground beef with carrots and Celery and onions. So you've added to the sauce again. So then you you know you take your ground beef with uh -huh. this, with all the other ingredients, put the sauce in, stir that up, yeah. cook it a little bit, freeze it until you're ready to use this it. This just feels smart, right? I, that you're right. taking the sauce and, then, and stretching it. I know. And then it's the same sauce if you want to make a pizza. This is less than five dollars, and it's actually it's half a pizza. But you use this one dollar and forty nine cent. Pizza dough from Trader Joe's. Okay. Put it in a nine by thirteen inch pan. Uh huh. And then you top it with some of this tomato sauce. Uh huh. Some mozzarella. Yes, ma'am. Which I have right here. Okay, so mozzarella, some grated cheese. Four seventy five for fifteen minutes. This is fancier pizza than we're used to at our house on a Friday night. That's well, fun. I mean, and and again under five dollars. But so easy, right? So inexpensive, right? Okay. so easy. So easy. Then you can make a chicken parmesan. So while this is cooking, we're going to do chicken parmesan. It smells great in here. So this is a boneless, skinless chicken breast that I pounded really thin. Mm -hmm. You don't have to make it this thin. If you just pound it, you don't have to. I butterfly. It, it would appear you, know? you got into my favorite kitchen job with full gusto. Really? Yeah. Pounding? Isn't that fun? Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Get out all your right. inhibitions. Yeah. So then you dip it in flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Uh -huh. Fry it like three minutes per side. Okay. And this is what you get. You get your chicken. And then you take some of your trusty tomato sauce, because this is so versatile. You could add stuff to it. You can just use it as is. Well, if it tastes half as good as it smells, this is going to be oh, amazing. Oh, I know. So then you take your little mozzarella, put it on top, take some Parmesan cheese. Oh, my God. Look at this. And then you got chicken Parmesan, and you take a <gasps> basil, and then you put it in the oven for about 10 minutes in yes. 350 oven. Yes. You've got dinner. Marguerite. One, two, three, four dinners well, made out of one least. sauce. at least. And then you know, you know that you have this sauce. Yeah. And you can make anything you want. Well, and so. it's a kind of grab-and-go recipe. I mean, you described it perfectly. Reaching in the freezer, warming it up. We yeah. need those at least twice a week at our house. And there's no excuse not to, to serve good food. I mean, this is what we're into, real food now. Yes. Right? Um, so... There's no excuse no not to excuse. serve good food. No excuse. Amen. And saving money. I mean, think yeah. of what you pay when you, you go out. We were just in, I'm not bragging, but we Please were just... Brag. We were just in Italy. You can always brag to me. Tell me your <laughs> Italian tales. <laughs> and the pasta was absolutely fabulous. Uh -huh. But 
there the pastas were like twelve and thirteen dollars, right? ah. which is not bad. Okay. But you come back to the states. I was at the dinner the other night, and the pasta was nineteen dollars for is. a plate for pasta. There it I is. mean, okay. it's not like I had truffles or foie gras on it. Yeah, you had pasta. I had just pasta. How so. how long can I store this sauce in the freezer? Oh, I don't know, six seven months. Okay. Yeah. I will be making this. Thank you so yeah, much. I know. Glad Feed to your see you. family good food. There is no excuse not to eat good no. food. She said it nicer than I did, but I'm doubling down. <laughs> and I'm going to take your advice. Okay, so look how good this looks. It looks amazing. It smells great, Shrimp too. with marinara sauce. Where can we get more recipes from you? Okay, you go to uh, Manja Bene. Um, 801. 801. And... There's tons of recipes yes. and little stories and travel tips yes. and restaurant tips. We and love your restaurant reviews too, Marguerite. Thank you. Yeah, thank Happy you. Happy New Year, friends. Thank you. You too. Thanks for bringing your talent and your flavor. You could do this. I, I, you could do this. You've taught me so much over the years. Don't make it know, sound like I'm a pass. I, I know it has onions in it, but it kind no, of... I, but the onions sort of dissolve she and they make me. it sweet. I can do this. I'm going to do this. Thank you so much. Do it on Sunday. We love okay. it. All right.